Hey guys, Happy here, welcome back to another video. Guys, in today's video, we are back doing another Minecraft Quickies tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this little office building here. This office has a functional printer. You can see you press the button and you actually receive paper from the printer. So, yep, today I'm going to be showing you how to build this, so let's get right into it. So then, to get things started, I'm going to be using the items in my hotbar. That's white concrete, blue concrete, an oak door, oak planks, oak slabs, and birch stairs. So, this is going to be for the exterior of the build. So, we're going to want to build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, build a 6 by 6 square, and what you want to do, you want to choose any two corners. I'm going from this side, so you want to remove these corners here and you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then like that. So you'll have a thing going around here and a thing going around there. Then what you want to do is you want to build it up by two more. So you want to just come around like this with your white concrete and you want to just build up two blocks like so. And once you've done that, you're gonna to want to come around to here and place any temporary block and then place birch slabs like so on the inside of the build and once you've done that what you want to do is you want to place oops you want to place oak slabs here like that then what you want to do you want to remove these two blocks here so if you're looking at it from the front that's the middle here that's the middle and then it's two so you should have a three block gap here and a one block gap there before we add in the doors, we're going to add a floor. So your floor starts here and just go in and replace all of the grass or whatever your flooring is with wood. Then you want to go, I'm just going to replace this for the grass like that. And then what you want to do is you want to get your doors and you want to place them in like that. Actually, you want to place them in like that so it's flush with the wall. So that's on this block here, here and there, just like that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to move to the next set of items we need, and that is going to be for the, um, for the, that doesn't look right, ah, that's better, but so that's the next bit. So for the next bit we need birch stairs, we need cobblestone walls, bookshelves, stone brick stairs, a white banner, flower pot, item frame, any pressure plate for a keyboard, and a button for a mouse. So to get things started, you're going to want to go from the doors into the far corner and place down a banner. Then you're going to want to go here and you're going to want to build like that. Um, keep that block like that, so keep this block empty here and you want to do the same thing here, like that. Then what you want to do is you want to go with your stone brick stairs and you want to just literally place it there. Now at the moment that is grey, we will sort that out later. For now what you want to do is you want to go item frame, pressure plate, button. Okay, now depending on which way you build this, if you build it that way, the button will face that way, and if you build it this way, then the button will face that way. Depends how you like it. Okay, now we're going to add a bit of decoration. You want to place a bookshelf here, and a bookshelf there, leaving that block empty. And then you want to build two bookshelves up, and you want to put a cobblestone wall here, and you want to put a flower pot later. We'll come back to the flower pot in a minute. So now what you want to do is you want to get these blocks, acacia wood stairs, sign, the flower pot again, the red tulip and some torches. So we're going to start with the torches, a torch above there and a torch above there. Now let's get onto the actual seat, so a stair facing this way on this block here, so you've got room to walk by, a sign like that, and inside your flower pot place in your flower. Moving on to the next set of blocks, we've got the redstone side of things now, so the sticky piston, the block of redstone, the redstone itself, paper, dispenser, dispenser or dropper, I'm using a dropper, and torches just in case for any reason I forgot to place these, but actually we need to power that, so we need to make that look light in day and night. So let's go around to here and I'll show you what to do with this. So you want to remove this block here, which is where that is, place that in there like so, on the same block here and you'll see when we go back inside that is now white like paper what we're going to do around here is we're going to go around to the back and you're going to want to remove this block here next to that and you'll see the bookshelf place in your sticky piston and then place in your block of redstone what you then want to do you want to come here and you'll see the back of the printer remove these blocks your computer screen might break perfect timing 
and you want to just go like that and you want to have your dropper facing into the stair block. Then you can just simply replace these and you can have a block going up here and then what you want is you just want redstone coming around like that, okay? So redstone around like that, so what will happen when you press the button, this will get extended out, come around and power this with paper inside. So now if we go back inside to the office, we can um, put the computer screen back and you'll see every time that we power our computer, we get paper dispensed out of the, um, out of the printer. So that is a really simple way to make a rather nice looking office build design and have a fully functional printer as well. So guys, that's going to be it for today's quickies video. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm actually thinking of building this inside of my survival world, so completely changing out the um, office I have at the moment for this new one. I think it looks rather nice. Obviously, with the um, item frame just there, you can actually add in whatever you want. So you can add a window for windows, an apple for apple, an orange. We don't have oranges yet, but I don't think there'll be an orange operating system ever. So, uh, yep, obviously with the printer, you can rename this stuff with an anvil, and you can put whatever you want in there, so you can make it print out, I don't know, secret notes, anything you want. So, yeah, I mean, if you want a different coloured wall, you can have a different coloured wall. I just like blue, because, I don't know, blue is nice. So, yep, as I say, that's where today's tutorial is going to end. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate all of your feedback. Guys, if you want to watch the last video, there should be a link to that on your screen now. And if you want to watch more videos, and maybe even subscribe, there should be a link to that on your screen as well. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next video.